Hey everybody, it's Just101, and welcome back to more Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we completed two pool levels, got some plants, and we unlocked Crazy Dave's shop, and we upgraded from 8 slots to, um, and we upgraded from 7 slots to 8 slots. So in this episode, we'll be continuing. And I believe this is a bonus stage. Funny thing about this zombie process, sometimes it makes them come out real little. Real little and real mean. Bend your shins. This is a really weird bonus mini game. Um, basically, every zombie is tiny, and they have very low HP, but they're very fast. It's a really weird setup. And by the way, this rake, what it does is that you have, it lasts for three levels. It only costs 200, so it's not bad at all. And it will destroy the first zombie it touches, and it will always stir it up in that row. So, yeah, they're very fast, but they're very weak. So, how fast can you take out a regular zombie with just a few shooter? It only takes three shots and they're dead and as a regular zombie, so yeah, it's pretty interesting bonus level. And by the way, there's gonna be a lot of them at the beginning. So you just gotta watch out for that. Make sure you're constantly using your little pads. Even the football zombies only take like 20 shots. It's really not that bad at all. They just are a bit fast. Yeah, as you can see, they're pretty fast. I don't know, it's a very odd bonus mini game in my opinion. Probably the dumbest we've gotten to so far to be really honest. Um, at least we got a, one set up on, on both rows. Um, and make sure you make use of your cherry bomb because you'll be getting plenty. Oh crap, no way. Um, let's see, let's keep sure for a minute. And the walnuts are also very helpful. I like when you use those. Where's the next uh, big zombie coming out of? Oh, oh yeah, there's also Scooby Steve. I want to take a deep dive. Getting all your features as fast as you can. That's basically the goal. Oh, crap, there's a demon coming. I think they can kill him. Oh, yeah. No, I need more shots. Doing pretty good here. As like, walnuts are so helpful in this level, they really are. The three football bombs. Yeah, Scuba Steve's are definitely not the main issue in this level. It's so, yeah. Um, okay, we're starting to come out. Just gonna go here. Yeah, that bubble zombie dying is very fast. Three shots for two teams, not bad. It's already almost done, so you know. Oh my way, it will still pop up in the little thing right here, I believe. Yeah, I'll pop up that. Were there even any bucket heads? I don't remember seeing any. I guess there was And bam, we're already done with that level. And we have the jalapeno now. The jalapeno is an interesting plan. He has his purposes, but they're he's not that helpful at the moment until we find a certain zombie. Basically, it will destroy an entire row of zombies and nothing vertically though. So yeah, it destroys an entire lane. I believe we're actually gonna find that zombie right now, and I hate this zombie. Uh, yep, zombonies. And this, that's obviously not a play on you know real thing or life. But yeah, zombonies basically are very high defense zombies they crush your plants they don't even eat them and on top of that they leave a trail of ice behind which will if you don't get rid of that ice of a jalapeno it will start attracting uh what's it called zombies i forgot what they're called um sled zombies or something like that i don't even remember what they're called but yeah these guys are very annoying you need we want you want to take them out of either squash or jalapenos 
if they don't get very far, you can put a squash and it should be fine with the ice. But if they get really far up the field, you need to use a jalapeno. Or they will start owning you. So, um, Let's see. I'm got, Once again, pretty standard setup right here. I was going to... Oh, yeah. I forgot. We actually have another row. So, we could do this, this, and you. So, yeah. There's no threatening zombies in the water. So, we don't need a tangle keep. And we can take a jalapeno. So, yeah. Having eight slots, I, definitely the first upgrade you should get is always, if you have the money, it should always be seed up, seed upgrades. Can't talk. They're very, very helpful. You always want to get the seed, seed slot upgrades. It's insane how good they are, really. It's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that rake will actually be pretty helpful because it will destroy that zombie and we don't need to waste a potato mine on it so if you de if you want to go potato mineless definitely definitely recommend a rake so yes okay i'm about to say hope i put him in that row my mouth says it's he's weird right now so whatever uh, let's see that whenever you have a bit of extra sun make sure you always put out lily pads Lily pads aren't really that much of a problem. It's more just bucket heads in the water. <laughs> well, I'm just glad they didn't make football zombies in the water. That'd be scary. Um, let's see, I could probably get another potato mine out for that guy. Okay, I sh actually, I don't know if that's gonna kill him. Let's hope so. I don't know. It's gonna be pretty darn close. So yeah, Zombonies are very annoying, and you always hear them come in with a, uh, truck sound. Wow. He even started eating him, and he just killed him. That was a bit too close for comfort, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, again, tip. Biggest tip I can give you in plans for zombies, just get out your sunflowers as fast as you can. The quicker you get your sunflowers out, the quicker your defenses will be up, and the sooner you'll be able to kill zombies, so... Um, someone messaged me on Skype, and I'm recording. I even messaged... Oh, I, oh, I left my Skype up. Crap. I didn't mean to leave my Skype up. I even put in my Steam name. I'm recording, so do not message me. But people don't listen. Maybe they didn't go on Steam. But it's probably Matthew, because I told him I'm, uh, I have my Xbox back, and I have my Xbox. And by the way, I have an HGPVR now, so if you guys have one of to record some Xbox and stuff. I'll definitely, even some plans for Zombies Xbox, I'll definitely, I'm definitely up to the recording. So. Yeah, look forward to that in the future, guys. But, um, yeah, it's probably math because I told him I got my Xbox back and he wanted to play with me. I will play with him when this recording session is done, so, yeah, pretty awesome. I also probably will be recording Halo Wars with Matthew, so, yeah, definitely be looking forward to that also. Um, oh, I didn't even see you. Um, yeah, they take out an entire row like that, so they're pretty helpful. Feature. Uh, I didn't want to use a jalapeno because I have a feeling that Zombo is going to come to flag, but oh well. There's nothing really else I can do right there. I always recommend to have at least two temporary solutions to prevent the problem. Always recommend that. And, uh, we'll see that out. I'm not being consistent with my plants. No, I hate doing that. So, what you gonna do when it comes to you, Hasi? I just doing that. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be a zomboni. Let's see, do we hear it? No, I didn't hear a zomboni. So we yeah, you'll hear a little, like, motor start up, and then you'll, uh, see the Zomboni coming in. You, that's the sign. You want to take out those guys as fast as you possibly can. Oh, god, there's one. Guys. Oh, shit. God, I hate those guys. See, so, yeah, this snow field right here, um, even that little bit, technically, there could still be sled zombies, so watch out for that. I don't even know what they're called. I think they're called sled zombies. Thing. Basically, they drive in it, they, they ride this little sled, and then once the snow ends, they jump out, and there's basically four regular zombies. So you gotta make sure that snow field is not that big, and jalapenos will get, ri get rid of all the snow fields, so, or they'll eventually just disappear, disappear like they did there. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, one more row of re gear should be good because there's no fucking heads or anything. It's not going so. yeah, As you can see, most of these adventure levels are just showing you like things you got to deal with later in the game, pretty much. That's about it. And usually you'll get the plant that can deal with those guys best on that level. So, yeah. Some of don't even have uh, more than two firepower going off them. As long as every row has at least one repeater on it, I'll be fine. It's like this one, I would like to have another repeater on it, but you really can't at the moment. I don't know why zombies randomly fall back like that and like, make it dramatic. Sometimes, and they sometimes don't, I don't really get that. Get ready for the Zomboni. I'll be quiet so you can hear it. That's what it sounds like. Very quiet. Well, you're gone, so. Good. You want to deal with him. Because I hate those red by zombies. They're not the worst zombies in the game, but if a Zomboni actually gets to your plant, he'll just tear through them. He doesn't even stop for eating individual ones. He just mows over all of them. It's very annoying. And we cleared a level, so what did we get? We got spike weed. Spike weeds are very, very helpful plants. Basically, you put them and a, and a zombie cannot eat them. And also, it pops tires, which are very good for defeating zombonies, and it hurts zombies that steps on it. So they do a pretty good amount of damage. So, and if you upgrade these guys later, they're very, very good for like survival. And we will be showing off in the next episode, guys. So yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.